Hi guys, this is IGCSC O Level Chemistry Paper 22, March 2017, Question 21. The diagram shows the steps in the preparation of a salt. So we have to grind the salt, then we add the salt to another reactant, then we heat it, and then we filter it. So basically, what we are left with is a residue of the original salt that we added. So the original salt has to be insoluble and the salt that has been prepared by this reaction is soluble that is why we heat it to evaporate the water and crystallize the salt so which salt is prepared by this method barium sulfate is not a soluble salt it cannot be prepared by this method copper sulfate is a soluble salt and we can use copper oxide or copper carbonate to prepare the copper sulfate salt so the remaining uh, copper oxide or copper carbonate would be insoluble so we'll have to filter it out all potassium salts are soluble so the salt to be used in order to make potassium sulfate will also be soluble so we will have nothing left as the residue and the same thing goes for all sodium salts we will have nothing left as the residue so the only salt that would be remaining as a residue would be an oxide or a carbonate of copper making option b the correct option for this question Question 22. Which property of elements increases across a period of the periodic table? The metallic character decreases across a period. The number of electrons the number of electrons increases across a period and down a group everywhere. So this is true for all elements. The number of electrons would increase. So number of outer shell electrons Number of outer shell, the number of shells remain the same, but the number of outer shell electrons increases across a period in the periodic table. And tendency to form positive ions decreases because positive ions are formed by elements on the left side of the periodic table and negative ions from the elements on the right side of the periodic table. So this is incorrect as well. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C. A clarification is needed with uh, the option B. It says the number of electron shells. So the number of electrons in shells would increase. That is what I explained earlier. But here it says number of electron shells. So number of electron shells remain the same across a period. So that is why B is incorrect. I misread this as number of electron in shells. No, it is a number of electron shells. That means the number of shells present. So across a period, the number of shells remain the same. But the number of outer electrons uh, in the outermost shell increases. That is why option C is the correct option. Question 23. Magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium are group 2 elements. Group 2 elements follow the same trend as group 1 elements. Which statements about group 2 elements are correct? Calcium reacts faster than magnesium with water. So the reactivity increases down the group. Calcium is below magnesium. So what react? faster with water. So this is correct. Barium reacts less vigorously than magnesium with dilute acid. No, barium is found below magnesium. So it would react more vigorously. So this statement is incorrect. And strontium oxide in air oxidizes in air more slowly than barium. Strontium is found above barium in group two. So yes, this statement is correct. Since statements one and three are correct, option C is the correct option for this question. Question 24. The noble gases are in group 8 of the period table. Which statement explains why noble gases are unreactive? They all have 8 electrons in their outer shell. No, helium does not. Helium has 2 electrons in its outer shell. They all have full outer shells? Yes. All of them have a completely filled outer shell configuration. They are all gases? This is true, but does not explain why they are unreactive. They are all monoatomic? This statement is also true, but does not explain why they are unreactive. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 25. Part of the pure table is shown. Which element is used as a catalyst? So B is from group 1, C is from group 5, and A is a noble gas. D is a transition element. So 
the element that is used as a catalyst are usually transition elements because they've got variable oxidation state. So this makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 26. Which statements about all metals is correct? They are attracted to a magnet? No, not all metals are attracted to magnets. They are weak and brittle? No, they are strong and malleable. They may be used to form alloys. Yes, metals are used to form alloys. Almost all metals or all metals. They react with water. Aluminum is a metal which does not react with water. So this is incorrect. Making option C the correct option for this question. Question 27. Which substance produces sulfur dioxide when roasted in air? Oxide is Al2O3. It will not produce sulfur dioxide. Cryolite is Na3AlF6. No sulfur found. Hematite is Fe2O3. No sulfur found. Zinc blend is ZnS. So since sulfur is present, when zinc blend is roasted in air, it will produce sulfur dioxide, making option D the correct option for this. Question. Question 28. Which metal carbonate does not produce carbon dioxide when it is heated with a Bunsen burner? So when it is heated with so basically it decomposes. So copper carbonate decomposes on heating, magnesium carbonate decomposes on heating, sodium and potassium carbonates do not decompose on heating in a Bunsen flame, and zinc carbonate decomposes on heating. So since sodium carbonate does not decompose on heating in a Bunsen burner, option C is the correct option for this question. Question 29. Two experiments are carried out. In experiment 1, copper is heated with steam. Okay. In experiment 2, copper to oxide is heated with carbon. Okay. Which will describe what happens in experiments one and two. So in experiment one, steam is passed over copper. So copper does not react with steam because copper is less reactive than hydrogen. So no reaction should occur. So this eliminates options C and D. And when copper oxide is heated with carbon, it is reduced to copper metal and carbon dioxide is produced. So a reaction does take place, eliminating option A and making option B the correct option for this question. Question 30. Which two gases are obtained from liquid air by fractional distillation? That will have to be nitrogen and oxygen because they are the ones that are found in the greatest quantity in air. 78% by volume of nitrogen and 21% by volume of oxygen is found in air. So carbon dioxide and oxygen, no. Oxygen, yes. Carbon dioxide, no. Water vapor, no. Nitrogen, yes. Oxygen, yes. Nitrogen, yes. Water vapor, no. So, the correct option for this question is option C. 